Welcome to your Algebra 1 EOC review series. This video is going to cover some important vocabulary that you need to remember. I know I probably do not have all the words on this, but these are the ones that I come up with so far. Okay, so our first word is distributive property. And I'm sorry about the line there. Okay, so distributive property just means when you have two parentheses x plus three, you're going to distribute that 2 through there by multiplying. So that's going to be 2 times x plus 2 times 3. So it's going to equal 2x plus 6. You're going to distribute it through. X-intercepts, 0, solution, and root. These are, change colors, your rocks. And rocks sit on the ground, so these are where um, a quadratic, a parabola, and I guess I should put that on there, touches the x-axis. A parabola is just the graph of a quadratic, so... It's where the graph touches the x-axis. Y-intercept, the point where a graph touches the y-axis. Coefficient, the number in front of a letter. So like 2x, our coefficient is the 2. Correlation, the value in how related A graph is, nope, that's wrong, how related a function is to a set of data or a set of points. Closer to one, the closer the relation is. Or the stronger the correlation is. And causation. Causation is when and input changes there is a corresponding change in the y values An example of that would be when the rain falls, the, the rivers increase. So if we just had a little bit of rainfall, we're not going to see a large increase in the, 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 um, the height of the river. But if we see a large amount of rain, we're going to see a large increase in the river's height or the amount of water in the, in the river. And so causation. Okay. Got those? Got a few more. Sorry about the blue lines. I don't know why it did that, but it did. Okay, reciprocal. The reciprocal is the flip 
are the inverse of a fraction. So that would be if I have one third, its reciprocal would be three over one, which is just three. Or two thirds would be three over two. So it's the flip. You multiply them, they're gonna give you one. So the inverse of a fraction. Domain, all of the x values. Range, all of the y values. Inequality notation for domain. It would be your x's, and that's going to be the left value and the right value. For your range, It'll be the y, and it'll be the lowest value, or the highest. The lowest or the highest. And then your inequality notation will change based on open circles or closed circles. Open circles mean not equal to. So you're only going to use the less than or the greater than symbols. The closed circles means equal to. And so you will use the greater than or equal, less than or equal to or the greater than or equal to symbol. And so on these, if you have an open circle here, you would put a line underneath it. You, I'm sorry, if you had a closed circle here, you'd put the line underneath it. If you had an open circle, you would just leave the inequality symbol alone. A uh, factor is anything that divides into something else. We use it in quadratics. Factors are equal to the original equation. So example, if I had x plus 3 and then x plus 2, that's factors. Okay, the x plus 3 is a factor, the x plus 2 is a factor. And they're going to equal x squared plus 5x plus 6. And so they're going to be equivalent. You're gonna, you can graph them and see which ones match up. Okay. This is your EOC vocabulary. Thanks for watching.